Hi guys, Simon here. So as you can see from the pictures and the thumbnail, I've got this to have a look at today. Sorry about the shine back. I'm just trying different camera angles and seeing how things go. Um, been given it by a friend who would like it fixing. Um, I'm not sure how it does anything. I'm not even sure the age. If I find the age out, I shall put a little card in right now so you can see what that is. Um, so it's a division. So it's Radio Shack. Uh, part of the Tandy, um, which is long gone now over in the UK. I don't know whether, whether Radio Shack is still running in the US. Um, so, what is it? It's some sort of poker device. I uh, don't know what you do or how you make it play, to be honest. Um, do have some operating instructions, so let's have a little quick look at them. Uh, right, the machine operates on one C cell. Now, I don't have a C cell battery, so I'll have to figure something out. Load the battery in. So, the player pushes the red main switch. Which one is the main red switch? I don't know, we'll figure out the main red switch. So, uh, two. Oh, I see, so that's at the side there, and it starts the, uh, I see, so you press that, the button, and it should start these rolling in the background. Um, okay, so it starts, it starts them rolling, um, and then you play stop scatter from rolling by putting one of the five buttons, once all buttons are pushed, there's five cards in the window, to draw additional cards, pull whatever buttons you may desire in order to select new cards and push those again. So you can. Oh, yes, they are push and pull. So these, I thought they were just a push button, they are push and pull. Now, I have what I have already done is in there, I've had a quick look and made sure there's nothing obvious. Now, it tells you the battery orientation there, so it's negative at the bottom and positive at this end. Now, working on the battery, C cell battery being 1.2 volts. I used my little power supply, set that to 1.2 volts, connected a negative down there, and in here you can just make out we've got the metal tab, and then down here the metal tab just when this slides up makes a connection with that pin. So I put my positive on there and nada. So I think without further ado, we'll take it a bit and um, see if we can get a better power into it that way. Piece to be held together by three screws so I'll quickly whiz them out quite a neat little unit this up as I said I'm, I'm going to be intrigued I'm going to google it and see what year it was brought out in because I'll be quite quite fascinated as to just how old it is right now the fun part is is which way around do I lay it when I open it up I hope you don't mind a bit of background music, just helps me relax a little bit. Okay. So that looks okay inside. And I think we're just about to go into an advert, yeah. I'm sorry, it's just YouTube, royalty free music, so hopefully I'm not going to get uh, stung on it. So I was right as to how this connects. We've got the negative pull for the battery there, and the positive heat. So the battery goes in. This slides up and makes a connection between there and there. That's interesting. Oh, it's going to make a music using one of those, um, I don't know what you call it, but it's really cool. Right, okay, anyway, moving on. So this is our connection to the motor here. So it's a shame it's, there's no lights. Might see if I can give them a little clean off just to clean it up. Then, does this mechanism lift out without? That's gonna go. Oh no! There we go. So we've got the mechanism out. So I'll probably give that a clean in warm soapy water. So we'll put that there. So as I said, this is our negative, and this is our positive here. So we'll put, I'm not sure what the problem is with it, we'll put 
1.2 volts on it. Just double check everything looks okay. Which it does, so we'll get let's see if we come at a better angle with the um, the power leads. So we'll have our negative on there. And that appears to be our positive on there. And we'll pop. So that is taking. It's not using any power at all, actually. I said it's a lie. Uh, 60 milliamps. Which. Is this motor seized? So I'm wondering whether I can get this motor out without thrashing it, and it doesn't look like I'll be able to, to be honest. Right, I might pause the video and see whether I can, because I think if I just bend these tabs, we can lift the elastic band off. Because it will be such a cool thing to get this running. Yeah, so I've got, I've got to pause the, pause the video while I straighten these tabs and see if I can um, pull the motor out. Right, here we go. So I've just loosened off the clamps. And, oh, okay, I thought that was ready to pop out. Never mind. So, real quick. Okay, so that's that off. As you can see, I've lifted out the roller carriage there. I was just held on with a spring at that end and sat in. So we've got our electric motor out now. So let's pop 1.2 volts at directly at the motor. So the, def the problem is definitely inside our little motor there, isn't it? That's a shame. Right, okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll get the soldering station fired up. We'll desolder this and then we'll see if we can have a look inside the motor. Uh, might be a one-way journey, might not be. Only one way to find out. Okay, so I think first things first we'll take this side off here. So a bit of leaded sold on there just to give it a bit of, I don't know, just seems to make things life a bit easier. And that's one side off. And that's two sides off, right, okay. Switch the solder station back off. Pop the frame out of the way. Okay, so I mean, I've, I'm sure as you have, I've taken millions of these apart as a child. Just a generic electric motor. And behind here, we've usually got the brushes. So, okay. At first glance, that's just dirty, I think. Do you know what? I honestly think that is just dirty. But what we'll be able to do is, I'm just getting some, I've got some IPA here, is we'll give this a clean with IPA. Okay, so what I've done is, I think I've got it moving a little bit more freely, but I've cleaned up the commutator a bit, and I've given the brushes a clean. So, 
what we're going to need to do now is pop them back together. I don't think there's a right and a wrong way. The hard bit is getting the brushes in without bending things. And unfortunately, it's one of those ones where you don't. Oh, that feels. You probably can't hear that very well, but it does sound a bit better. It's definitely running a lot more freely now. That is. Yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy with that. Whether it works or not is another thing totally. So now we need to. I'll flatten the clamps to hold it in. And there. Then we'll apply a little bit of power and see what happens. Right. We're still on 1.2 volts. I hope you can hear that. We now have we now have a little motor going. So we're in a good place. That's just a oil and other such garbage dripping out of it. So I shall just give that a clean off. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. The oil I used, out of interest, is just a general 3-in-1 oil. Um, you can use a sewing machine oil or something like that, and we'll just put a tiny little dribble in the end there. It's just a drop that's needed. I think that's what happens as people get a bit overzealous when they're looking after these. Might you say that, it's probably never been a part, and it could just be grease that the manufacturer's put in there, but that's... Yeah. We're in a good place there, so we'll get the soldering station switched back on. And um, look at getting it put back together. But I'm very happy, I'm quite, quite confident now. So I'll pause the video while I um, solder things back together, put it back together. And then we'll look at cleaning these. Well that's not too irritating. Um, I managed to lose the footage of me putting this back together. I did have an attempt at cleaning the wheels here. Um, but yeah, it wasn't going to happen with the equipment that I've got. I don't have the appropriate cleaning materials. I give it a little wipe with IPA, just in a bit, a little bit, and made no difference whatsoever. Anyway, now it's together. Let's um, well, it's together. It's in this state. We're in a state where we can actually test it with out the battery. Now remember, right, the positive went to the chassis, and the negative went onto this clamp here. So we'll pop that on there, we'll apply some voltage, there we go, and she's away. So we press a button, a button, a button, oh there we go, you press 3 and then reset it. Um, yeah, I'll get the box washed and we'll put it back together. And here we are, nice and clean again. I think it's come up quite well. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Basically all I did was just put it in the in the bath and give it a wash down with some cleaning solutions. Nothing super special. So now we'll see if we can get this back together. And oh famous last words. And there we go. So that's it. So what would happen is the battery would go in there. I need to make sure I remember the slider. And the slider, as I mentioned previously, the battery compartment, when that slides down, that makes contact with the end of the bar there. So the battery would sit in that compartment. But being as we don't have an appropriate battery, we just need to make sure that we're going to make a suitable, which that piece to make a nice co connection. It's all good. And 
So, first thing I do, forget to put the, leave the compartment, the compartment cover. So I'll put the battery compartment cover back in. And try again. There we go. Good as new-ish. Screws in. And all done and working. This can be now be returned to the young lady who passed it to me. Who asked me if I would have a look. And I hope if it's a heirloom or was passed down or a childhood toy. Um, I would hope she now has many more hours of fun. Uh, yep, yeah, and so on. Playing with this unique little toy. Obviously, it's not spinning around because the battery's out. There's no battery in it, but perfect. What more can she want? Have fun with this young lady, and um, hope you all enjoyed this this uh, little video of me having a go at fixing something. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to subscribe and hit that like button. Um, if, if you didn't like it, if I was doing something wrong, please give it, do it a thumbs down, I don't mind. But if you do do that, please let me know what I've done wrong so that I can improve on it next time. Hope you all have a great day and uh, hopefully you'll see another video before too long. Bye now.